first shifting theorem, Laplace transform first shifting theorem. This first shifting theorem we are going to apply whenever e power at is product with some other functions. Generally, we will discuss in Laplace about uh, e, Q functions only, like e power at, sin, cos t. When these functions only we are going to discuss in Laplace, e power at, sin, cos, and t. So repeatedly we use these four only. Now I am going to discuss when e power at is in product with sin, when e power at is in product with cos, when e power at is in product with t. Which principle we need to think? We have to think about first shifting theorem. So first shifting theorem we will get into our mind whenever e power a t is in product with some other functions that you have to choose first shifting theorem to evaluate the Laplace transform. So what is first shifting theorem? The first shifting theorem says like this: L of e power a t into f of t is equal to L of f of t replace s by s minus a or if you have e power minus a t in product then find out Laplace transform of f of t and replace s by s plus a what I am saying e power a t means if you have e power 2 t in product with some other function f of t means that may be sin that may be cos that may be t if e power a t is product with cos, then find out Laplace transform of cos. So definitely you will get L of cos in terms of s. In that, wherever you are having s, then replace s by s minus a if you have e power a t. For example, if you have e power 2t there, then write in the place of s, s minus 2. If you have plus 2 here, replace with minus 2. If you have minus 2 here, replace with plus 2. So, whenever e power a t is product with some other functions, first to evaluate Laplace transform of that some other function which is product with e power a t. In that Laplace formula, definitely you will have yes. Wherever you are having yes, that simply replace yes with yes minus a if you have e power a t. If you have e power minus a t, replace with yes plus a. So what I am saying, you can understand with some examples. So directly we are discussing the direct products like this. First shifting theorem will be applied whenever e power a t and sin is in product. e power a t and cos is in product. e power a t and t is in product. We will discuss the three cases. So that you can understand every case in first shifting theorem. For example, if you want to evaluate e power t into sin 2t e power t into sin 2t see here e power t is in product when e power t is in product with some other function what first shifting theorem says first to find out Laplace transform of the function which is product with e power t here sin 2t is product with e power 2t so find out L of sin 2t in L of sin 2t Whatever the function of yes you are getting, in that replace s yes by s. Yes. Here a is 1. You don't find any number means you will have here plus 1. So replace s yes by s yes minus 1. You know very well, L of sin a t formula. L of sin a t is equal to a by s yes square plus a square. Using this formula, first we are going to write L of sin 2t. What is L of sin 2t? Here, a value is 2. 2 by s square plus 2 square. In this, write in the place of s, s minus 1. This replacing represents, we are applying first shifting theorem. So here, e power t is in product, that's why I am replacing s with s minus 1. If I have here 2, I will replace s with s minus 2. If I have here minus 3, I will replace s with s plus 3. Now, we are going to replace s with s minus 1. Write in the place of s, s minus 1 plus 4. That problem is. So the simplification is your wish. 
using the MNSP whole square formula, you can expand the denominator. A square minus 2AB plus B square plus 1 plus 4 plus 5. That is your wish. L of e power t sin 2t. When e power a t and sin are in product. Now, we are going to discuss when e power a t and cos in product. For example, this is the case. We need to evaluate L of e power minus 2t into cos t. So, e power a t is in product with cos. So, first, what first thing theorem says? First, evaluate Laplace transform of the function which is in product with e power a t. The function which is in product with e power a t here, cos. Find out Laplace for this first. L of cos t you need to find first. After finding L of cos t, replace s by, if you have minus a t, s plus a, minus 2 is there. So, you need to replace s by s plus 2. The small technique is, if you have minus 2 here, you need to write here plus 2. If you have here plus 2, you need to replace s by s minus 2. So now, L of cos a t part now we know, L of cos a t, L of cos a t equal to s by s square plus a square. This part now we know. Here, a value is 1. So we are going to replace a by 1 in this formula s by s square plus 1 square. In this right in the place of s, s plus 2. Replace s by s plus 2. Wherever you are having s, the right s plus 2. The problem is s plus 2 by s plus 2 whole square, 1 square is 1. The simplification part, s plus 2 by using a plus b whole square formula, a square plus 2ab plus b square. b square means b is 2, 2 square 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So like this one can easily evaluate when e power a t and cos are in product. Coming to the next case, when e power a t and t are in product. That means like this. L of e power 3t into t. L of e power 3t into t. So when t is in product, we will get one more principle also. But prefer first shifting theorem when t is in product with e power a t. Because in first shifting theorem, nothing we are doing, simply replacing s by some value. So first, find out Laplace transform of t. Here t is product with e power a t. So find out Laplace transform of t. In this, write in the place of s, plus 3 you are having here minus 3. Replace s by s minus a. a is 3 here. Replace s by s minus 3 after evaluating L of t. We all know that L of t formula is L of t equal to 1 by s square. Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square. So, what is L of t? 1 by s square. Now write in the place of s, s minus 3. Wherever you are having s, then write s minus 3. So if you replace s by s minus 3, what you will get? 1 by s minus 3 whole square. That problem x. If you want, you can sim simplify using a minus b whole, whole square formula. s square minus 6s plus 9, 2ab. So like this, one can easily evaluate the perceptive theorem problems like this. These are the complete cases which you are going to get in first thing here. The total cases. There may be n number of applications, but in every application, you need to think about these functions only. If e power a t is in product with sine, or cos, or some other function t, then we go for first shifting theorem. Are you clear? Any doubts you may express.